people would be so concerned with creating the world's biggest and most powerful spacecraft that they would put everything else on hold. Still, Elon Musk is not that kind of person. Before realizing the rich CEO was already at work on the Starship successor, the Starship was being built, the pinnacle of rocket architecture. What size and power does the Starship 2.0 have? Why does Musk need it? Finally, Starship 2.0 is happening, and we'll let you know more exciting facts. Many preparations must be made to transport humans to another planet. This is the predicament Musk finds himself in as he plans to establish a colony on Mars. He needs to figure out transportation as it is the most crucial factor. He has to transport people to Mars as quickly as possible because it is millions of kilometers away from Earth. Musk must discover the most cost-effective method to transport people between planets because this is a costly operation, otherwise the project will be shelved due to unaffordable prices. However, Musk has to move a ton of other things besides people. Because Mars is a hostile environment, Musk must have a lot of supplies ahead of time to keep people alive. Musk intends to relocate millions of volunteers quickly so the new colony can support itself, which will necessitate shipping masses of supplies like food, goods, building supplies for homes or shelters, medicines, and other things. Despite the huge logistics, Musk is in control of the issue. There isn't a rocket available right now that can handle all of these without costing a fortune. Musk created the Starship, the largest and most potent spacecraft, to address the transportation issue. The SpaceX team is working quickly to develop and test it at the Starbase SpaceX facilities in Boca Chica, Texas. In addition to housing the Starship development, Starbase is where all the employees will reside. Along with tourists who merely want to witness a launch's incredible strength, those who will go aboard the rocket to Mars will also be accommodated there. Starbase will be a bustle of activity, but this spacecraft will be the main draw. It is enormous, measuring 9 meters in diameter and 120 meters tall when the upper and lower tiers are put together. The space business has never seen anything like it in terms of power. Powered by more than 30 rocket engines specifically designed by SpaceX, the Starbase can lift payloads weighing more than 100 metric tons into Earth orbit. The upper stage of the ship is a part that will go into deep space. It has 1,200 tons of propellant capacity, so it can have enough fuel to reach its destination. The ship stands 50 meters tall, with 18 meters dedicated to the payload. The total volume available for payloads is 1,100 meters cubed. SpaceX will configure the Starship to meet Musk's need as cargo or crew. The latter will transport humans or form a carry cargo. Only other configurations will act as fuel tanks. The Starship will be used for other purposes by clients such as NASA and the US Army, but we won't go into that in this video. The lowest stage or the super heavy booster is even taller at 17 meters. It will carry 3,400 tons of fuel to help the ship escape the Earth's gravitational pull. It will produce a thrust of 72 meganewtons. The ship and the super heavy are both completely reusable, which Musk intends to use to cut the cost of his scheme. However, reusability complicates the design of the Starship before we get into Starship 2.0 properly. With the size and power of the Starship, many people will not see why a version 2 is needed. There is a need for a bigger Starship. Take for instance launching a Starship and getting it ready to travel to Mars. The process will require four Starship tankers to fuel the Starship heading to Mars. Otherwise, there won't be enough fuel to get there. This refueling means messing around with rendezvous ducking, pumping, and undocking. However, a larger Starship 2.0 that can supply all the fuel would simplify things massively. In addition, if the Mars community must be self-sustaining, it needs the ability to build structures for itself. The easiest way to get that going is to ship heavy machinery from the Earth, like iron ore excavators and steel mills with cauldrons and rolling mills. There will be other heavy items that cannot be divided up into 150-ton pieces that must find their way to Mars. When you think of things like this, you will see why Musk already thinks of an improved version of the Starship. As revealed by Musk, the Starship 2.0 is larger than the first version by orders of magnitude. He revealed it would be 18 meters in diameter, double the size of the current Starship. It is not surprising that Musk has aimed so high because the Starship was originally meant to be 12 meters in diameter. It was designed to launch 300 tons to orbit 
and 450 tons to Mars after refueling. At the same dimension ratio as the current Starship, the Starship 2.0 is double in height, making it a 240 meter tall hunk of steel. That would be three quarters the height of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. When you double the height and width of an almost cylindrical object, you have multiplied the surface area and volume by eight. This means Starship 2.0 has eight times more capacity to hold fuel and will generate eight times as much thrust as its predecessor. Starship 2.0 will take 800 metric tons of payload to the Earth's orbit for this rocket to be this powerful. It requires about 100 powerful Raptors at the current capacity of the rocket engines. In comparison, the biggest rocket ever conceived before Starship 2.0 was the Sea Dragon in 1962. It was the brainchild of Robert Truex, who worked at Aerojet. It was a two-stage rocket that would launch at sea with a payload capacity of 550 tons. The Sea Dragon had a height of 150 meters and a diameter 23 meters. However, the Sea Dragon never saw the light of day because it was never built. The Starship 2.0, when configured for human transport, will be able to carry nearly 1,000 people, which significantly cuts down on number of trips Musk has to complete to populate Mars with 1 million people. Here's the most crucial consideration. Is Starship 2.0 at this size financially better than operating multiple starships at the current site? The economic concern is vital because you don't build a big rocket just because you can. Let's look at the launch cost-benefit analysis first. According to Musk, the entire cost of launching a version 1 starship will be $200,000, of which $900,000 would be spent on fuel and the remaining $150,000 on SpaceX support activities. Assume that Starship 2.0 support operations will continue to be expensive. Also, remember that 8 travels on a present Starship 2.0 equal 1 trip on the Starship 2.0. The entire launch expense for Starship 2.0 would be $7.2 million for the fuel and about $1.2 million for support activities for $8.4 million. The cost would be $16 million for 8 launches of existing Starship. Therefore, Starship 2.0 will cut the cost for the same cargo in half. But the savings continue beyond there. It's important to keep in mind that in the current version, it takes four additional Starships to launch a single Starship to Mars. Replacing those Starship 1.0 with a single Starship 2.0 is possible and will cost Musk less money. It becomes obvious that Musk is making good decisions when you decide the savings by the number of trips that must be made. The other component is the cost of production. The Starship 2.0 will indeed require more Raptor engines. Still, you only need twice as much steel to build a Starship 2.0 instead of spending money on steel for eight distinct version 1 Starship. Similar considerations apply to heat shields materials. Welding and ring stacking would both increase in cost, albeit by that point, most of the operation would have been automated, further reducing the price. It will take a few launches for Starship 2.0 to make up the cost of the additional Raptor engines it requires. Raptor engines presently cost approximately $2 million each, but Musk anticipates their price to drop significantly to $200,000 over time. Most of the work for Starship 2.0 is done by completing the current Starship. SpaceX only needs to scale up what it is building now to match what Musk wants. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. So what are your thoughts on Starship 2.0? Share all of your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.